Although technology has evolved since humans started roasting coffee more than 500 years ago, heat transfer sources have remained the same. Radiation, convection, and conduction are the only ways to transfer heat into food while cooking, baking, or roasting. Radiation is heat transferred by a limited wavelength of the electromagnetic spectrum. It travels at the speed of light and does not need an intermediate medium to disseminate. Conversely, convection uses a fluid, it could be air or water, while conduction uses molecular agitation. Modern coffee roasting is a result of the combination of the three sources. The most basic utensil for coffee roasting is still popular today is the pan, which transfers heat by conduction through the metal sheet. However, the disadvantages are obvious. Coffee gets easily scorched and requires a lot of agitation throughout the roast cycle. It didn't take long after its adoption until somebody came up with the idea to add perforations to the pan, allowing hot air to run between the coffee beans. Heat by convection improved roast consistency, while mechanical paddles and spheric and cylindrical drums helped to reduce the agitation efforts. During the Industrial Revolution, steam motors replaced manual agitation, and coffee roasting at commercial scale was finally possible. Initially, commercial coffee roasters used direct fire as a heating source. It was dirty and energy inefficient until gas burners came out. Gas burners allow combustion inside the roaster to be cleaner and more efficient. Exhaust fans could pull hot air from the heating source through the coffee without contaminating it, improving efficiency by adding convection. Simultaneously, the cyclone's introduction helped remove chaffed and suspended particles from exhaust gases. More recently, Viedrich released the first infrared commercial coffee roaster, which rely on radiation as the heating source reducing combustion contaminants flowing along with the air throughout the coffee during roasting. Although an infrared heating source allows cleaner combustion, it makes sudden temperature changes more difficult. For this reason, modern roasters mostly use turbines that produce blasts of clean air at any given temperature for further flexibility. Likewise, modern PID temperature controllers have allowed fluid bed coffee roasters to develop. These roasters rely 100% of convection and are flexible, clean, and energy efficient. However, this technology is available only in small batch roasters, due to the constraints air bed technology represents for large batches of coffee. In my opinion, Loring has the leading roasting technology today. The roasters could clean circulating air from chaffed, smog, and particles without losing significant heat implying they are more energy efficient and combustion clean than any other roaster. To finalize, I would like to see induction as the heating source of most commercial grade coffee roasters in the near future. The coffee industry and coffee roasters still rely heavily on fossil fuels. Regardless of the difficulties, they should move away from gas and into more sustainable alternatives.